All right, 40K enthusiasts. Incoming question here, working on some comments. Berserkers of Scalathrax. This is my Chaos Space Marine Army. And I've got a couple of Tactica Vlogs pushed up under the 40K playlist. I've also got uh, Tactical Breakdown over on my blog, the link underneath this podcast. But the idea behind this army, if I had to simplify it, lots of coordinate berserkers charging your army, putting your toys to the bolt pistol and the chainsword. So it favors heavily close combat, close in shooting, everything rushing towards the table. Uh, also using cultists as some bulk. It usually wants to play mecked up. You know, I've got some Chaos Terminators pushed in there. I have some support stuff. I play Land Raiders, of course, because I love Land Raiders. I play Vindicators. Uh, The Vindicators are a little bit out of the scope of the list, but just I I love Vindicators and all their incarnations. So it's it's more of a favored unit as opposed to like a a World Eater specific thing. And the, the backstory was that the Berserkers of Scalathrax were literally the the remains of the world leader legion that were there on Scalathrax, they survived the, the purging by Karn and their armor has um, worn down to the ceramite. They have the symbol, the world leader symbol on there, but it's worn down to the ceramite armor. And if you see, it's a different mix of different marks. There'll be little bits and pieces. If you really picked up the model and really there's little bits and pieces where you can still see that white, you can still see a little bit, of that blue they in my mind they consider themselves they still consider themselves world eaters on there they, they, they still really consider themselves that as as part of the legion and they're just kind of fighting out until the very bitter end of the long war what kind of units would i like to see if there was a, a codex, codex done proper and this is an interesting debate because i know with the psychic awakening and other things gw has, has pushed stuff out um, but even when you've gotten somewhat specific Legion-esque books, you, you, you really haven't in my mind. And what's, what amazes me, and I really feel like this has always been an untapped part of GW, um, I know loyalists, absolutely, loyalist Marines, uh, that, 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 that's what sells 40K. That's what sells 40K. GW has a secret formula in the Battle Bunker where I'm willing to bet listening to this podcast right now you play Space Marines, you know, thumbs up in the, in the like, you play Space Marines. I'm willing to bet that even if you don't play Space Marines right now, that at some point you've played Space Marines. You've had a Space Marine army and either moved on or maybe it's not your primary army right now. Thumbs up on that, like. And if you don't play Space Marines and you're like, look, I play Xenos, I've never played Space Marines, I'm willing to bet When you're on GW's site and you're looking at the hotness of the models, you're thinking, hey, maybe I will play Space Marines. So with with that selling 40K, that's that's the propulsion of 40K, I'm a little bit surprised that they haven't sold bad guy Space Marines um, a lot harder, Uh, especially since everything... Everything with GW, I mean, we're getting into narrative here a little bit. Everything is always like, oh, chaos, oh, the warp, oh, the dark gods. And it's it's a great backstory, but, uh, and I love Blackstone Fortress. I'm going to pull a little BSF in here for a minute. I love Blackstone Fortress, but I'd like to see more of the fortress itself being explored or this idea of maybe like some of the old one tech, maybe some Necron tech. But admittedly, it's like 90% chaos, chaos, chaos. Everything's chaos on there. Yes, that propels the the, the Imperium. That propels the narrative. But then from the perspective of how fast Games Workshop is is literally churning out books, spitting out updates, pushing out stuff, why is there not more Legion stuff? Why is there not more um, from the broken Legion perspective of chaos space marines being put out? Why does it seem like Chaos is just really uh, Blackheart and, and other, like the focus on other war bands pushing on there. Chaos isn't as undivided, I think, as, as people think, especially with Abaddon leading the various Black Crusades. So what kind of units would I like to see? I would really like to see some more 30K stuff. I mean, is 30K even really supported that much anymore? I mean, I know Games Workshop isn't retiring it. 
Um, there's a lot of inspiration from Forge World, but I'd like to see some of that, see some of that classic 30K stuff brought into proper chaos space marines. Um, I think a great example. I'm going to invoke the the third edi- the um, third edition chaos space marine book so this was uh end of third edition 40k uh, beginning mid of of fourth edition 40k yes chaos was overpowered it was the only time that they were super powerful games workshop immediately nerfed it but what was interesting was you could play undivided and you had access to all the lists and everything here but then you could be like i want to play legion and there were certain they were the same units but they had slightly different configurations and they had slightly different um, perks in playing Legion specific factions. I'd like to see more of that. I mean, I would love to take some of those 30 K concepts and could I play my chosen with, um, coronate axes and some sort of uh, siege shield. I'm, I'm spacing a little bit. You guys will help me there in the comments. Uh, the boarding Marines from 30 K. Like I could see that narrative of like 50 world eater Legion type Marines, the, the chain axes, the chain swords, and just those those seed shields moving in. Um, maybe some specific world eater type, well, not dreadnoughts anymore, we call them hell brutes, um, pushing that out. I think there's a lot of stuff that you could take and maybe advance in the timeline, but I guess ultimately the question is, would would it be playable by chaos now? Would people play it now? I think if you made it generic chaos and then you could paint them like world eaters or you could put them and spin them into your narrative i think that would um, have a majority of models i also think chaos um needs chaos needs a new wave soon and maybe we'll get that uh slightly after ninth drops um there was a time when a lot of new stuff was introduced into chaos uh, groundbreaking stuff like the hell drake when that was introduced that was big um, some things, uh, the space dogs, the molar fiends, that was big, bringing in that dark mechanicus type vibe, uh, with that. We got mutilators. Okay. Mutilators were a complete and total miss. I don't know what anyone was smoking when they were coming up with that, but there were some, some new models introduced that were significant that we could use. I'd like to see a new push towards that, um, rather than just kind of rehashing the same old stuff. With chaos, that that would be my take. But I would like to see if, if it was like Fritz. We're going to give you some world eater stuff. I'd like to see some really, really dedicated, dedicated, dedicated um, boarding party close combat type units to push out for whatever points. Probably they'd be really, really overpowered, overpointed simply because it's chaos marines. You pay twice what loyalists get and all that. But I definitely would still play them.